Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. Hey, I know I did, but guys, if you don't know who I am, I do. My name is Justin. Hit that subscribe button below. Become part of our huge family as we grow every single day, whether it be in numbers or knowledge. We got another brand new drink here for you guys. This one is Kirk and Squeenie Dominican Rum, guys. It is a 12-year-old Dominican rum made in Santiago, or no, no, not made in Santiago. Made in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> it says, In the spirit of the rum running schooner, Kirk and Sweeney, this rum is well worth pursuing. Made from sugar cane, oak barreled, Kirk and Sweeney 12 Reserva it shows a rich mahogany color, smoothly capturing a complex range of flavors from earthly, earthy sugar cane, drifted or dried fruit, to vanilla and toasted oak. Um, super excited about this bottle looks absolutely stunning as we spin it around just for you guys yeah it's got a lot of stuff on it and that's the front um 40 percent alcohol 80 proof and probably one of the more indifferent bottles that i have on the shelf this whole part on the bottom is just solid glass this thing is thick it's heavy um and it's a solid cork top. It doesn't have anything else on it. Nothing like that. So, it, ha it comes with this tab. It's, it's, it says U.S. Coast Guard at the top. Kirk and Sweeney, Dominican Republic from the origin. Destination, Long Island, New York. Cargo, cases, 867. Rum, sail, schooner. Remarks, eight persons on board. Batch number 25. Bottle number 1,500 or 15,281. Property seizure. Um, so we're gonna jump up in it, see how it is. I'm excited. go all right and then oh that is a lovely pop Ooh, that cork smells amazing and it has their name inside the cork as well pretty interesting interesting all right all right let's go ahead and pour us up just a little here I really hate these wide mouths. I feel like they pour really terribly. It has a really nice seat to it. Just and then stays. Oh, very vanilla-ish. Almost. Uh, butterscotchy, definitely butterscotch. Hmm. I'm thinking that dried fruit could be like a like a grape, or a like a like a raisin, I guess you could say. Oh, it's very it's got a lot of smell to it. Hmm. There's the color outside the glass. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's give it a shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is the sweetest rum I've ever had. It's a 12 year old rum. Don't know if I told you guys that or not, but it's so fruity and sweet. It's soft. It has a little bit of a slight burn to it. Um, not necessarily a burn but warming sensation um it's not heavy it doesn't overwhelm you with that alcohol content the flavors that are coming off of it are drastic honestly they transition changing how that was the chair how long it sits and like the length of the aftertaste uh, like the aftertaste is still lingering now and it's changing it's kind of 
it went from like that vanilla-ish nuttiness around to like that uh, dried fruit that it was talking about, like full circle. Um, not getting a lot of that toasted oak that it mentioned, but I could get it in the smell of it. But it is one of the absolute best rums that I have had. Um, and there's a photo courtesy of the historic... Oh, okay, so it's got a picture. Each I think each bottle has its own little picture up here. It's pretty cool. Um, little tidbit of information on the end here. Uh, so the name of the bottle is Kirk and Sweeney. But that's not the name of the actual people that makes it. Um, the people that are actually making it, I don't think it has their names on here. Uh, I can't remember that off the top of my head, but Kirk and Sweeney, Kirk and Sweeney were two schooner ships that they used to import this rum from the Dominican Republic into New York. They would sit about three miles off the coast. Speed ships would come out, pick up the rum, and then import it into the U.S. Uh, so they would smuggle it into the U.S. that way. Really interesting. That's why the tag on the side of it is the way that it is. It is a quote-unquote-ish property seizure. Um, January 13th, 1924 is what it says. That's really interesting. Uh, they put a lot of thought into this bottle. Absolutely love it. The flavor is impeccable. Yeah, it's so just sipping is just amazing. You need nothing else with this. You drink it how it is, and you're gonna fall in love with it. Um, it was only thirty-five to forty dollars. Can't remember. I think the average cost of it right now is right at thirty, thirty-five dollars. Uh, so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Could not be happier with this bottle, guys. Get you some Kirk Sweeney Dominican rum and drink responsibly. Cheers. Oh, that smells so good. That is lovely. That is so lovely. That's a beautiful bottle. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. So, as always, hit that like button, smash the comments, and Hit that subscribe button, become part of our family as we grow every single day, whether it be numbers or knowledge, guys. Hit that notification bell, it lets you know as soon as we go live and post videos. We post videos Monday through Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. We go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so stay ready for tomorrow with another brand new live video as always. But guys, till later, till next time, till always, I'm Justin, guys. I'll see you later. Y'all have a great rest of your Thursday. Go get you some rum, have a great drink, and drink it with me, guys. Y'all have a blessed evening. Catch you later.